Hi everyone and welcome back to another episode of Classic Mini Maintenance and Repairs. In this episode I'm going to show you how to install bitumen sound deadening sheets. Now this is quite an old school way to deal with sound deadening but I highly recommend it for your mini. Now as we all know minis leak and unlike the foam sound deadening this won't hold on to the water and cause you further problems down the line with rotten floor panels and uh, mould in your carpet. Now I've seen a few videos of guys completely covering their floors, roofs, side panels and boots and this stuff and that's not really how it's supposed to be used. If you imagine you have a large piece of sheet metal and you tap it with a hammer, it will make a high pitched twang noise. Now you take that same piece of metal, you slap one of these on it, hit it again, instead of going twang it will go dunk and that's what it does, it's a vibration suppressor, not a full on sound deadening material. Now I bought 20 sheets of this on eBay for £40 and the box weighed 5.6 kilos. Now that doesn't sound a lot but if you cover your roof, your floor, side panels and booting this stuff then you're probably adding 30, 35 plus kilos to a car that only weighs 650 kilos and that's a lot of extra weight for not a lot of return. I mean you still put you put this down, then you put your underlay down, then you put your carpet on and that should be enough for sound deadening. So this is the label that came with the, the box. Uh, we've got some little illustration here where you're supposed to put floor panels, firewall and wheel arches. Uh, a little bit of information, how to apply it. And the company that makes it is Bitflex and it's car insulation that's selling it. There's a website there. But again, you can find it on eBay. It was forty pounds for uh, two boxes, and each box contains uh, ten sheets. So you're not going to need a lot of stuff to do this job. All you need is a clean cloth, a pair of scissors, and a wallpaper roller used for rolling down the edges of wallpaper. A nice sturdy one of these will set you back probably two, three pound or something. So not a big expense to buy. And uh, let's crack on and get it done. Now the first thing you want to do is take a nice clean cloth, wipe down the area you're going to be sticking it to, make sure it's free of dust, uh, loose paint, anything that's going to stop the adhesive sticking to the metal. Now you take your bitch from sheet, you peel off the first bit, like so, like that, and you place it with that bit on top, nice in the middle. And you hold it down. And you want to take your clean cloth and make sure the top bit sticks in. And follow the contours of any metal or uh, if you were doing this bit you would put it in and you would make sure you do one side first and fold your finger into the groove then fold it over same with this bit and then the next groove follow over finger in the groove and right down. But this is a flat bit so I'm just going to crack on. And then as you pull the, the tape off the back, you want to run the cloth along the top, make sure there's no air bubbles, nice and firm pressure, make sure it's sticking to the metal all the way down. So, make sure there's no air bubbles and it's sticking at both sides, right down the middle. Nice even strokes across. Okay, now you have one panel. That's that's on, no air bubbles or anything. You take a roller and you want to roll down and back up the next bit. Down and back up the next bit. And what that's doing is just making sure that it gets over all the lumps and bumps and sticks to where it needs to stick. Once you've done that, we'll go sideways. Nice firm pressure. Then paying particular attention to the corners and edges. Make sure it's stuck to nice. And if you do this for maybe a minute or so, 
just really ironing out the edges and the corners, make sure it's stuck in there. And again over the top. Okay, now you have it. One tarmac sheet applied. So this is how I've done my rear floor panel. I've got one, two, three sheets. And then in the front, I've got one in the footwell. I've got one on the, well, the off cuts on the wheel arch there. Uh, I've got one in the firewall at the front. Same again here, here, here. I've got a, probably, I don't know, about four sheets maybe in the boot. Uh, just under the spare wheel underneath the back box. Uh, I think I've got another one up here on the, the wall on the other side. Uh, all around the battery box and that. If you look at the, the side panels in the back here, you'll see the, the original manufacturer's sheet. Again, it's just one sheet straight across the, the panel just to kill the vibrations. And it'll be the same underneath your headline and you'll probably see one, two, uh, three sheets across the roof. And then again, that's just to stop any tin sounding uh, twangy noises. I'll probably put another couple of sheets just on the top of the, the rear uh, wheel arches here and then uh, I'll call it quits of that. I think that's a pretty good job. Right, so I've got a couple of sheets already cut to size. Uh, they just perfectly fit over the, the wheel arch there and that should kill out uh, any kind of road noise from the, the wheel arches there. And it's the same procedure again, you just take your cloth, wipe off all the dust and uh, if it needs a, a wash first or whatever, get rid of any grime or oil that's on it, I'd recommend you do that first. And then it's the same procedure, you just peel off the back, lay it down at the top first, and then as you peel off from the back, run the cloth over, make sure there's no air bubbles, it's stuck down, and then you take your roller and roll out uh, any kind of remaining bubbles or bits that haven't stuck down properly. Okay, okay, so that's both of the wheel arches done, and it should, should cancel out a bit of the noise from a, uh, from stones and kind of just general rattleness coming from the back and it looks pretty good nice and flat okay so well guys thanks for watching and i'll catch you next time